So in today's video, I will be talking about my community college experience or just my college experience in general. Let's get right into it. So for me, community college was more of a um, chance to redeem my grades because back in my high school video that I uploaded uh, three days ago from now, I talked about how I had really um, bad GP grades and just overall as a C student. So as such, I was looking for I was looking forward to redeem myself. I know it has worked out because now I'm more of a B student and I think my current GP is like a 3.2 or 3.3. So it's much much better from a 2.0 and I think overall it's just perfect. In that sense, uh, community college was not only um, a chance of redemption, but it was also something new for once. You know, now you can just do whatever you want, I guess, as long as it is within the legal proximities. Uh, for instance, if you um, don't want to stick in a class for much longer, you can drop out of the class um, within a certain time span. If you don't, um, you'll have to end up taking a whole class. And actually, some people, they um, would rather fail the class than to drop it because if they drop too much, and when they transfer sooner or later, um, if they get too many W's, then essentially uh, it will not look good on their transcript. So I guess the main message of this, um, of dropping out and, and such is to not drop out at all. You know, it's better to fail the class of a D or an F than to uh, get W's. Another thing about community college was that there were um, time schedules too. And let's say for instance, you want to take graphic design 101 and it's sort of from 9 to 10.45 Let's say you don't want to wake up early in the morning, you can take it in the afternoon, maybe at like 1.45 to 3.10 or something, you know, so there is some sort of leeway when it comes to choosing your classes. However, uh, keep in mind that there will be other people who are trying to um, take the same class as well too, and sometimes you might have to wait list online or even add in person during the first day, and it's not uncommon to see a lot of people, especially the freshmen and people who have been um, at, a, at the colleges for longer to, you know, kind of just wait. And I kind of crowd up the line um, during the first day because usually those are the people that couldn't add um, late and as such they're trying to you know um, get in via the first come first serve kind of basis. What else can I talk about? So also speaking of college uh, there's also a lot of things you can do for instance if you're a very very adventurous person like myself you can also check out the campus and see you know um what the campus has to offer and whatnot and it's pretty cool because you know there's really no one you know um that will be kind of following you and whatnot or i guess those cameras to make sure they're not doing anything bad but as long as they're kind of just you know cruising by um you know it shouldn't be that much of a deal anyways let me see what else what else so also with that being said uh you can also check out your local stores too for instance they might have like a fast food place like a mcdonald's or a taco bell or something like that or they might even have a a CVS or some sort of pharmacy where you can buy your supplies for school or just buy a quick snack to go and I think it's really convenient because that way um, you don't have to go um, you know farther away from the college and I think maybe for people that are trying to you know uh, balance this time you know um, it's good that we have uh, stores for all, all of the colleges so that you don't have to you know keep going back and forth and waste time you know you can just kind of get it on your go in that sense I was gonna talk about here. Also for um, community college, um, there's a website called ratemanprofessor.com and I highly recommend it for people that are going to college because that will pretty much give you a sort of review and a breakdown of um, what to expect if you're taking that professor for a certain class. Another thing would be that if you're someone like me who's kind of introverted, you know, who doesn't really like to talk to a lot of strangers and whatnot, and who likes to keep um, themselves to maybe like a few friends, then community college would definitely do a good job of kind of um, leaving you isolated as there are literally a lot of people um, in college in general. And if you're the one that doesn't really like to talk and socialize a lot, then community college can be sort of a boring experience for you because you don't make the effort to um, do Talk to people but then again you know it depends on what your motives are you know if you want to make friends and get your diploma then that's cool but i think for some people like myself that are kind of introverted i think for us mainly our main goal is to just get the diploma and move on you know we're not here to really make friends and if you are here to make friends you know we want to keep a few close friends rather than have a big uh, group of friends because that way you know we don't um have to waste as much time and whatnot but that's just going from my perspective you know maybe some people might think a little bit differently but that's just how I see things as an introvert. Okay, also during the um, 
the first semester, I consider it to be a very, very good and fortunate year for me because during the first semester, I actually um, hung out with one of my acquaintances. And this person, he was the one that introduced uh, me to Roblox. Um, and I didn't really know him that well, to be honest. We were just kind of friends of friends. But yeah, I remember the first semester, we would hang out and do like, you know, the usual stuff that like we would go, go eat or we would um, you know, go buy boba and drink or sometimes we would even walk around the class. and. You know, it was kind of boring, I guess, because we didn't, we didn't really do much, but I definitely enjoyed the experience of me hanging out with him because I thought, you know, that we would never hang out, you know, because we had our own kind of friends in high school. And like I said, community college or college in general does a good job of really isolating you. And, you know, um, then you choose between, oh, you know, they want to make more friends or they want to focus on the most important thing at hand, that's the diploma, obviously. Another cool thing would be that during my first semester, I actually went to another country, and that was Cuba. And how I got into it was that my professor one day, she was mentioning something about a trip to Cuba. And I was obviously pretty interested because I've never been um, out of the country before. But I also learned my, um, what is it called? I think my Chicano studies class or something. I learned a little bit about the Latin, the Latino um, history and whatnot. So I know that Cuba was very, very isolated back then because of um, communism, I believe from, I forgot, I forgot, but I know that it was a very communist country back then, and I think it is still, I think it is still a communist country now. And another cool thing would be that um, Cuba is a place that no one really goes to until recently, because um, back then it was very, very reserved, sort of like North Korea in the sense that, you know, they would only let, you know, the very, very important people go in, but now if, as long as you have money, you can go there and, you know, check out a, a country that is so backwards, but yeah, it's so interesting in its own right and I, I enjoyed the trip I mean it was a week I think it costed around three thousand dollars and that may not be kind of worth it but I mean you have to understand that I think it's fair going to a country that you've never really heard of than to go to a popular country like for instance France or Spain or England you know I don't want to go to those to those popular countries because I feel that you know there is a huge culture shock in there but um you know it's nothing like visiting a smaller country that doesn't have as much recognition you know I kind of like to roof an underdog sometimes. Maybe that's why I chose to go to Cuba. However, there are trips to go to um, France, Italy, England, uh, the Netherlands and that kind of stuff. But you know, I, I felt like Cuba was more appropriate for me because I'm not really one to travel in the first place. You know, I'm more of a stay home person. So that's why. Let me see what I was going to talk about for community college. Oh, and also um, another thing would be that when it comes to professors, understand that they won't be as um, diligent when it comes to grading and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But this is that some professors, they may, you know, kind of grade in their own way. And some professors may be a bit more lenient. It just depends on how they, you know, kind of get a feel for overall class. You know, if the class is really good, maybe they can be a bit more nicer and, you know, grade us a lot easier and give us better grades. However, if it's, if it's those really strict professors, then um, I suggest that you try to, you know, uh, visit them during office hours and show show them that you know that you really really want to pass the class and that you're determined to want and maybe they will help you over the over the other many students because that kind of happens you know in college now is that you know you'll see some people that will kind of you know uh, befriend the professor and i guess try to use them but it's just more of a you know communication in the bond you know on how to um you know get get better grades in the class and you know just kind of enjoy the teaching because some people are here to learn while other people kind of take their education for granted, you know. For instance, some people in the middle of the class, they may just leave because of their own personal reasons. And in high school, you couldn't do that. You know, in high school, if, they, if you do that, they would kind of be on your ass and go, oh, you know, why are you doing class, blah, blah, blah. In college, you know, no one really cares, you know, as long as you, um, like I said, don't get in trouble, it should be a-okay. But anyways, that's pretty much my experience for community college. It was definitely more of a refresher. I am doing so much better now because I feel that I've grown up as a person, but I also feel that I know what I need to do now in order to get the results that I want and thus just, you know, maintaining my studying and my skills and trying to do better when I go to Cal State LA because at this point my GPA is probably going to be a 3.2, you know what I mean? It's not too bad honestly, but I want to aim higher, maybe like a 3.4, even a 3.5 when I go to Cal State LA. But honestly, it depends on your overall experience. Um, if you want to make the most out of it, I suggest you do because after this, many people are going to be done and they will never ever take their secondary education again unless they sort of have a, um, you know, um, a yearning to learn more and more, maybe to get a master's or even a PhD. But for me, I'm content on getting a bachelor's and that will pretty much end up um, 
being four years of college that I spent and wasted my time on, which is a good thing because now I can actually get a job better than just, you know, getting a diploma that says, oh, you know, I graduated from high school. But anyways, that is it. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Our next video will be coming soon.